I'm Dino Brunetti with Juggernaut Tactical. I'm the chief designer for the M14 Rogue chassis system, and I'm also the national sales director. This is a um, M14 clone with an 18-inch fluted medium weight barrel from John Wolf. Uh, it's in the uh, M14 Rogue chassis. Uh, you'll notice that at the end there, we have the jugger brake, and that's a close quarter battle brake. That's a, a product you're gonna hear more about here in the future. It's specifically tuned for running and gunning, and for right-handed or left-handed shooters, we make both brakes separate uh, for the left-handed shooter to compensate for that uh, torque that you get when you're running and gunning. Some of the features of the M14 Rogue is it shortens your M1A or your M14 uh, rifle by 11.75 inches. It gives you the ability to mount your accessories and optics with 39 inches of Picatinny rails. It's free floating. One another feature you may see here is a left-sided charging handle. This is a nice feature if you're running a suppressor and shooting subsonic ammo. It gives you the ability to stay in your cheek weld, keep your trigger finger on the, on the trigger, and charge it with your left hand. It also makes magazine changes up a lot faster as well. is the fact that it has an optics mount that's fixed. This gives you ability that it stays on. You can still break the weapon down without tools, clean the weapon, put it back together, and maintain the same zero. One of the things that steers people clear from the M14 platform is the weight. Um, there's not a lot we can do with the weight, but putting it in a bullpup configuration moves the weight closer to your body, neutralizing it, making it much more um, easier to manage uh, and maneuver. All right, I'm Dino with Juggernaut Tactical. I want to thank Funker Tactical for coming by and having a little chat with us.